We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Pandemic is not a word to use lightly or carelessly. COVID-19 at the very early stage looked like a black swan event. It looked like an event that nobody anticipated, no one was prepared for. Being in the healthcare industry for many, many years, uh, we've really seen these types of pandemics, but not in this extent. You know, we really didn't realize how bad this was going to get. The biggest global disaster that any of us have ever faced. When I first heard about COVID-19, I had worked on SARS in 2003. You know, I couldn't believe that uh, it was going to happen all over again. Iba kalab mo rito, hindi gera ito, this is a virus. Na at that time, wala pang bakuna, hindi mo alam kung saan tayo pupunta. We knew nothing. Okay, COVID is, is new. It was called, in fact, the novel coronavirus. So we had very little information about how COVID behaved. I think case number one or two were foreign travelers. Case number four and case number five, Tagig and San Juan hit. After case number four, things happened very, very fast. As early as uh, December, the corona kami ng mga cabinet meetings. And the president uh, wanted uh, us to prepare for, for the worst. He was presented with two options. To declare ECQ or to wait it out. Community quarantine is hereby imposed in the entire of Metro Manila. Lockdown was declared uh, and it all just went crazy after that. At that time, magulo talaga. Takot lumabas ang tao, wala masyado umiiko. Hindi natin alam kung ano ito eh. I became MMDA general. My mom died of COVID after six months. Masakit. Mahira. Many jobs were lost, companies uh, closed, even unemployment uh, went up to 17.7% from 5%. It's a situation where everyone saw the magnitude of the problem. No previous experience in the past 100 years. We had experience with SARS and Ebola, so we thought we were prepared. We needed additional isolation facilities. Uh, we needed quarantine facilities. We needed additional hospital beds. We needed additional hospital rooms, ICU, lahat ng mga kagamitan na kinakailangan natin. We were beset with an unprecedented pandemic and we do know that the healthcare system is not as resilient as we want it to be. No? So definitely.